Hello, Namaste. I am architect Siddhi Pawar. I have my architectural and interior design practice based in Pune since the last five years. I have done my master's in environmental architecture and I also work as a consultant for a construction company in the city. As an architectural design firm, we strive to achieve a balance between aesthetics, functionality and space efficiency within the budget of the client. We are here today in the Kathak dance studio which I have designed. This is also my entry for the SpaceX Design Awards 2022 in the category of small work spaces. This particular project is uh, very close to my heart since I have also been a student of Kathak. The client is my own guru. The client wanted the design of the studio to be inspired by a Gurukul. She had pitched in the idea that she likes the South Indian courtyard houses. Taking that in mind, since Kathak is a North Indian dance form and the studio based in Pune, we decided to go for a traditional Maratha architecture style. The studio was also supposed to be well equipped for photography, videography, sound recordings and online teaching as well. The challenge was to find the correct mix between tradition and uh, modern equipments in a small space of 590 square feet. Traditional Maratha architecture style uh, portrays royalty but with a very earthy and down-to-earth material palette. Solid wood handcrafted doors, arches which are intricately carved and niches are the prominent features of Maratha architecture which you will find in almost all the vadas of Maharashtra. The sheer chanderi silk curtains and the diwan style seating echoes the royal Peshwa style of design. Decor items such as hanging lamps, floor lamps and brass artifacts are in keeping with the traditional Maratha style. The structure originally had two heavy and deep RCC beams intersecting the ceiling in right angles. The space looked unbalanced due to these deep beams. A dummy beam was added and a laser cut false ceiling replicating the design of a wooden engraved ceiling of a vada was added in between both the beams. Indirect LED lighting brings the illusion of increased height. Kathak dancers are prone to knee injuries due to long-term foot impact with the floor. Hence, a solid wood floor cushioned using plywood and foam sheets provide a spring for the rigorous and repetitive footwork. This enables for better sound insulation as well. A performing art form like Kathak needs many costumes, musical instruments and books for reference. The entire southern wall of the studio is dedicated to storage in the form of wardrobes and open shelves. The white laminate and wooden handles stay in line with the design language while being inconspicuous and visually light. The studio was being used as an empty hall by the previous owners with an awkwardly placed toilet in the center of the hall. The toilet was blocking out all the natural light of the space. This was hence demolished and shifted to the northwest corner of the space, but in a very concise 20 square feet place. The windows on the north wall were increased in width and height to allow ample natural light into the space. Anodized aluminium double glazed windows have been used to reduce the sounds and facilitate quieter environment for recordings. The client's wish of the space to be experienced as a temple for the dance form was achieved through the warmth of the wooden floor and traditional design of the arches. The corner dedicated to worship and obeisance inculcates deep reverence for the art form, providing an apt beginning for riyas. 3-in-1 LED lights help switch the mood of the space from a rigorous practice space to a sublime performance space in the click of a button. The east wall has a full mirror which also has a retractable projector screen that's utilized for reviewing performances or for online teaching. Mirrors help visually maximize the compact space. The arch on the north wall frames a photo collage of Kathak dancers performing clicked by the client's husband who is a professional photographer. The client's love for plants has also been taken care of by using konada or lit niches in the wall framed with intricate wooden ornamentation. This project was specially close to my heart since I got the opportunity to blend two of my passions, architecture and kathak. The studio is the dream project of the client and I am really happy that I have been able to help her realize it. Mm -hmm.